Hello. 19% of all Americans have a disability, and there's an increasing demand for service animals to assist with day-to-day -day activities. If you have a disability, excellent organizations exist for the purpose of matching you with the animal best suited to meet your needs, and frequently at no cost to you. I know what you're thinking. I want a dog! Well, of course you do, but... I want you to reconsider, because the better choice may be, that's right, the service opossum. And here's why. There are no long waiting lists for a service opossum, no inconvenient mandatory training sessions, and they're fairly easy to find. Well, hello. It's our friend the elephant, reminding us that the vast majority of possums belong outside. So if you see one there, leave it there. If you come across an ill, injured, or orphaned opossum, contact a professional wildlife rehabilitator immediately. If after all this you're still left with an opossum, well, fit that animal into a vest and train it for service. Many states do not require certification for service animals, and this is good news because testing will only stress your possum unduly, and nobody wants that. I think we are most familiar with animals who assist the visually impaired by guiding their partner through the complexities of pedestrian traffic and public transportation. You know, here I must warn you against setting your expectations too high. Another service performed by animals is incipient seizure detection and warning. For example, if I were about to have a seizure, the possum might sense this and tap my hand to remind me to take my medication, which many viewers suggest I've not been doing. Possums can get your attention in many ways. Nudging, peeing on your arm can be effective, or just nipping you. Now, if you have a disability, you have enough to think about without adding rabies. So, here's the good news. No matter how hard or how often that possum may bite you, you will not contract rabies because their body temperature is too low to harbor the virus. Isn't that good news? No, of course it is. Now, for the hearing impaired, possums can be trained to turn their head in the direction of a noise. Fire! Shark! Ah, so you and your possum can swim in the ocean with confidence. <laughs> the possum may just roll over and play dead. Not the most helpful behavior in an emergency. Another category of importance is the psychiatric service animal for those with mental and emotional disabilities. Possums make excellent confidants. If you see a service animal with a disabled person, do not approach that animal. This is not a pet. It's a working member of a team doing an important job. Any attempt to distract that animal could prove harmful to its partner. So don't do it. No. No. <laughs> All right. Now, in closing, there are some disadvantages to a service possum. They're short-lived. So, by the time you are both fully trained and bonded, you have, well, maybe a good week before they drop dead. This can be distressing, especially to those with an emotional disability. 
possums can turn on a dime and become aggressive, but only if they get upset. And that would be your fault, wouldn't it? So be really careful not to upset them, and this won't happen. Probably. Always give your possum the benefit of the doubt. Just remember, no possum is perfect, and neither are you. All right. Memory challenged? Think no further. So, next time you or someone you know is in the market for a service animal, think outside the box, because your answer may be right in your own backyard. Until next time, bye.